Managing diabetes doesn't have to be a guessing game. Technology can be your best ally in gaining control. Hi, I'm Dr. SCO, endocrinologist from Aspen Diabetes and Endocrine Clinic. Continuous glucose monitors or CGNs allow the user to track their glucose levels continuously during the period of the sensor wear. Continuous glucose monitors actually track interstitial fluid glucose, which is the glucose that surrounds the cells. It is a bit different from traditional finger prick capillary blood glucose testing in that capillary blood glucose testing provides you snapshots of your glucose levels at a certain time point in a day. As opposed to that, a continuous glucose monitor actually gives you a complete blood glucose profile over the entire wear of the sensor. So when would I recommend a CGM for my patients? Well, in my practice, I would recommend the CGM for instance. Firstly, in patients with type 1 diabetes who are on a multiple daily insulin injections. This is because they need to know their blood glucose levels at all times prior to injecting uh, the required amount of insulin. Secondly, it is extremely useful in patients who are adjusting their therapy. For instance, if your doctor is changing from one medication to another or adjusting your insulin dose, it is helpful to know where your blood glucose is heading. I would also recommend CGM use in uh, my patients who are pregnant, for instance with gestational diabetes or even with pre-existing diabetes in pregnancy. This is because the glucose targets in pregnancy are extremely tight in order to protect baby and the mother. I would also recommend a CGM for my patients who are newly diagnosed with diabetes. Why? Because it's important to know how your blood glucose responds to different foods as well as different activities. So many CGM brands in the market, how do you then make a choice on which CGM to purchase? Well, there are several considerations. Firstly, you will want to know how long the CGM can be worn for. Certain CGMs can be used for 7 days, while others can be used for between 10 to 14 days. Secondly, certain CGM devices will require the user to scan the sensor in order to generate a reading, while other CGM devices are able to have real-time continuous glucose profiles with alerts and alarms based on the glucose thresholds that are set. Some CGM devices are also integrated with insulin pumps such that the insulin pump is able to show you the uh, glucose profile and certain smart pumps can then adjust the uh, insulin delivery based on the glucose profile. Another question I often get is whether uh, inserting the device is painful. Well, when the device is inserted, the needle is used to guide the insertion of the sensor and subsequently the needle is removed, only leaving a very soft filament under the skin. The sensor then attaches to the skin with an adhesive. This is far less painful as compared to uh, finger prick capillary blood glucose testing in which uh, a person will need to prick themselves several times a day to know their trend of blood glucose levels. If you are interested to know more about CGN and whether it would be useful for you, do reach out to your doctor.